1045, the team, you're home for New York sports. Now, um, this, you are literally the favorite interview of our boss. Our boss will come in. You, you would think that with, with your life that he would be scared of you, but he loves you. Uh, Brandon Lang joins us right now, brandonlang.com. Uh, welcome to uh, – this is basically your party, right? I mean, they, they may call it the Super Bowl, but it might as well be called the, the Brandon Lang Invitational. Atlas, I'm meeting your boss in Vegas, eight ball of Coke, champagne room. Boss, <laughs> we're taking it deep. So <laughs> let's get your people with my people. Hey, Joey, bag of donuts, let's do it, buddy. But uh, it's, it is. It's, uh, it's, it's you know, my second year doing Radio Row, and it, it – it's different this year. A lot more talent running around. There's a lot more dime pieces. The over-under last year, the two days I was there, was seven and a half. I played the under. Uh, Fifteen, it's flying over. There's serious, serious talent. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, yeah, that one walking um, over there. But what's funny is, is that, you know, this selection has kind of defined my career. 21-3-2. and two, uh, Came on your show last year, gave out Denver. And I've almost predicted the exact final score. Uh, four times. And Arizona Pittsburgh, I had 23 20. Arizona Fitzgerald, Fitz, Fitzgerald scores. It's right there, 23 20. Ben breaks my heart. But 1998 99, I had Denver over Atlanta, 34 20. And I was with my buddy Ted Treb, who was a PJ Tour player. We were in Phoenix for the Phoenix Open, and we're in the Players Lounge. And I just told everybody in the Players Lounge, uh, 34 20 is your final, boys. 34 20, everybody. Like half the PJ Tour knew 34 20 was the final. And so if you remember that game, um, Atlanta converts three fourth downs on their last drive and scores with 20 something seconds to go and it's 34 19 and it's there and i'm at a super party super bowl party in la because the la opens the next week at freddie demand's house with bruce jenner sugar ray leonard my boy chris was married to freddie demand's daughter Hugh, music mogul 29 million dollar home in bel-air and i stand up in front of 50 people i'm hammered by 11 o'clock in, in the morning. <laughs> and chris and i are doing blow in the bathroom and, and just not, <laughs> just to be able to function and it's just massive Hollywood party, and I'm, I'm hammered. And so we got Freddie to put 1,000 on the coin toss, and the whole Super Bowl party stops, and they flip the coin, and we win that. Yeah! And then I stand <laughs> up in front of the whole, whole A-list party and go, the final score of this effing game, Denver 34-20. So now they score 34-19, and the entire Super Bowl party just looks at me, and I'm just going, <laughs> And I'm out of my mind. And then Dan Reeves goes for, for two. two. Yes, yes, he goes for yeah. two. Yes. Down 15. Now, <laughs> I've dealt with anger issues for 18 years. <laughs> deep, deep therapy. Wanted to kill Dan Reeves. Especially you're coked, you're drinking, you're in L.A., you're, you're, you're out of your mind. And you know, all these thoughts of a baseball bat to him. Just whatever. <laughs> a lot of therapy, 18 years. Ten minutes ago, who walks into Radio Row? Dan Reeves. Dan, Dan Reeves. Reeves. There it is. <laughs> and I'm dealing with it all. all comes back. It all comes back, right? And now the moment I've waited my whole life for, the answer that I need to go on with my life, to heal my <laughs> wounds, to make me complete. So he's being handled by my ex-publicist. Perfect. I walk up. Jimmy, let me ask Coach a question. Introduces me. Hey, Coach. Super Bowl. Atlanta. Denver, you're up 30, you, you scored to make it 34 19. I said, You're down 15. And here it is. You go for two. Why? The Dalai Lama's about to speak. <laughs> Moses part in the Red Sea. <laughs> Everything you've ever needed. Everything in my life. And you should feel my heart. My heart's beating. <laughs> my heart's beating. You know, you do that big line and then your heart's about to explode. There it is. It's beating. It's, 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 it's just beating. And I'm ready. And I'm just, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. And he goes, here it is. It was just a dumb thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a dumb thing to do. Wow. All, all, the, all the years. You know what that is? That's like making love to a porn star. And it's time for you to, to blow. And nothing comes out. No. <laughs> <laughs> the meaning, the, the secret meaning behind Brandon Lang's life, it was just a dumb thing to do. And he said it just like, it was just a dumb thing to do. <laughs> He's a sweet man. I think, I, think, I, think my, yeah. I think my lips were the way he said, thing to do. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say for the rest of my life. It was just a dumb Hey, uh, honey, why... Why'd you leave light on the bedroom? It was just a dumb thing to do. Well, what, you, there's, there's, what do you what do you say next to that? There's nothing. It's nothing. done. It's over. Yeah. Oh, oh. So I came back with I go. It's okay. I said, "Cause coach, I bet a thousand dollars in that game that there would be a two point conversion try, 
And I said, and when you went for it, all my buddies looked at me and go, there's no reason he should have went for two there. You should have lost your bet. That was stupid to go for two. I, I'm like, maybe money, coach. Good job. <laughs> stuck it to him with the reverse psychology reverse of the double reverse reverse. That's right. Perfect. Brandon Lang with us right now on Radio Row here at the George R. Brown Center. We're here thanks to Bud Light. Uh, guys, go ahead. Yeah, is there anybody else besides Dan Reeves when you're watching the big game and you have just a, a – vendetta against is it a player in a certain matchup where you're so close like uh we thought it might have been peyton manning is it not peyton manning peyton made a lot of wrongs right by by coming back and winning last year for me because there were a couple of plays he made in that game he got away with that could have changed the complexity of the game and i remember coming on your show and saying listen if peyton manning he can't win the super bowl but he can lose the Super Bowl. And if you remember the game, as everybody does, he played like garbage. Mm -hmm. He played terrible. Their defense won them that Super Bowl. He just, he just kind of got out of his own way. That cured the, that, that cured the Denver Seattle and that cured the Indy, <clears throat> Indy Saints because he cost me two of my three losses. So, Brandon, you were talking about prop bets, <laughs> you know, two-point conversion. So that. What, what prop bets are you looking at in this Super Bowl? First of all, going national anthem over. Yep. 215. Mm. Intel two years ago, Luke Bryan did a concert and went 239. Country music, Houston, country music backdrop. Country music kind of gets kicked to the curb with the, the hip hop and all that. This is his moment to shine over the posted total. Coin toss, a lot of people say heads instead. I think tails never fails. I'm feeling tails this year. So right off the bat, you got your two. National Anthem gets sing, they flip the coin toss, we're good to go. And then here's a couple, here's a couple good ones for you. Tiger Woods versus Tom Brady. Tiger Woods' collective four-round score against Tom Brady passing yards. Brady's minus 18 and a half. Let's, I don't think Tiger Woods is going to go much better than, let's say, eight under. So 288 from eight, that's 280. Brady's got to get me 310 passing yards. I like it. Let's lay 18 and a half with Tom Brady. And last but not least, Junior Edelman is minus two and a half against Florida State. Florida State's total points in their college basketball game Sunday versus Edelman's passing yard, catching yards, 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 receiving. Yards, yards, receiving. Yeah. Right. So let's say I got Florida State scoring between 72 and 76. Eds has just got to get me over 80. Love Edelman minus the two and a half. I love it. Brandon Lang, BrandonLang.com uh, with us right here on 104.5 The Team ESPN Radio. We're not going to get your pick. We've got to go to BrandonLang.com to get the, the Falcon well, Patriot the, pick, right? Well, for the first time, I'm, I have it on the website for free. Ooh. I have a one-day free all-access pass on the website. Oh, and, awesome. and for the first time ever, I never include the Super Bowl in the one-day free all-access pass. I'm coming down to Radio Row. Um, you have won four straight weeks to start 2017. It's the best start I've ever had to a year since the movie came out. Um, and I'm like, you know what? Let's Radio Row. There's going to be some talent to look at. As long as I can look at the newspaper, I don't have to buy it unless the wife gives me a hall pass. <laughs> and I'm still working on that because TMZ is supposed to come in town and we're going to go to a strip bar tonight. And I need a hall pass to be able to do what I want to do in the strip bar. And I'm going to have to buy the wife something to get the hall pass because, you know, we, we are swingers. And, you know, we're, one of the best swinger stories ever is and, and, and when you're in the swinging lifestyle, the, the man can never dictate what happens you got to leave it all to the girl because soon as you try to push in one direction the wife gets insecure and so we're at a we're at a mansion party in malibu california um and it's sponsored by vivid and it's a it's 14 rooms upstairs i got a six foot nine 375 pound black dude standing by the stairs and the only way you get up the stairs is if you got a woman couples and single women only and then you get upstairs it's it's, it's all systems go and so <laughs> the lower is a valentine's day theme they had massage chairs and stuff set up on the second floor and then down below on the first floor was was um the dance floor and you bring your own booze and that's kind of the the, the setup well as soon as you go in you do a hit of e and now you got the whole vibe going and then now and now it's on like donkey kong <laughs> so we're upstairs it's late in the night and here comes brad armstrong who's owner of wicked pictures with jessica drake I'm sure you're all familiar with Jessica Drake. If you're not, Google Jessica Drake. I happen to absolutely love and worship Jessica Drake. So we're sitting on the edge of the bed. My wife and I, we've, we, you know, we've come to the end of our night, and Jessica Drake sits down right next to my wife, and they have the exact same little Louis Vuitton purse. And she sits down, and Brad Armstrong, in Jenna Jameson's book, because he married her, has a fetish for Asian women. So you, I can see it. They're walking by. He's, she comes in, and now she's going to get us back to the room, and then it's on. 
And they're like, hey, you guys want to hang out? My wife looks at me, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm like, whatever you want to do, babe. And I'm turning around and going, oh, my God, just, 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 <laughs> just give me a yes. <laughs> just give me a yes. Do you know how many times I've, to Jessica, Dick, when you've gone to bed, <laughs> she's one of my faves, just say yes. My wife says, give us a minute, maybe we'll see you back there. And Brad's like, okay. I said, you got it, buddy. I'm sitting there, my wife goes, you know, I'm, I, I'm kind of tired. And I go, okay, let's go home which is the power play move, right. no hesitation. We get in the car no more than we're two minutes down the road, coming right back down Malibu, heading back into Santa Monica. She passes out. And I'm all alone in the car at 2.30 in the morning. And I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. And we get home, and that's the, that's the, that's the big fish that got away. Whoa. <laughs> big fish oh, that got away. So she, so technically I brought up that story because she, she owes me. She owes me. I, the she, whole pass. Uh, the next day, she felt so bad. And she sa I said, you know what? We need to negotiate the over under how many hall passes I get based on what you, you left me hanging there. And she said, all right, well, I'll, I'll give you three. And I've used two. And so with TMZ coming into town tonight, if I can set it up the way I want to set it up, I want to I bounce out of there to the strip bar we're going to tonight with a couple, couple on my arm and take it TMZ style. Can you imagine <laughs> if I come out and TMZ's there and I'm like going, hey, when you're 21-3-2 and two in the Super Bowl and you, it's a game that's defined your career and your wife gives you a hall pass, this is how B. Lang rolls right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. As close as I'm going to get to that life is watching two for the money. I got it. <laughs> Brandon Lang, BrandonLang.com. We, man, we appreciate you. And, again, my, our boss, every time your stories come on, he, everything has to stop. He just cranks the... Cracks the radio up and listens. Well, you know what? What's his name? Jake. Uh, Jake. Jake. I got to meet you, Jake. <laughs> you and me, the time you, you and your buddy stole that cow, and your buddy tried to make it with the cow, I got a party with you, cowboy. <laughs> me and you together, forget it. But I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to offer my leadership to this platoon, because a platoon without a leader is like a foot without a big toe, and Sergeant Holka is not always going to be here. I think we owe a big round of applause to our newest and bestest buddy in big toe. Sergeant <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta watch. I gotta watch Stripes gotta and watch two for the money tonight. For the money, oh so. man, Brandon, thank you so much. BrandonLang.com. Uh, he is the man when it comes to Super Bowl, and uh, we saw him, saw you at the media party last night. And you're the man Dude, when it comes to the party it's too. It's a food coma. Yeah. If for you people out there, it was it was a food coma. I'm not a big weed guy. But I'd have weighed 500 pounds, and I told, <laughs> I told, I sat next to a dude who, who smoked some weed before he went in there. You could tell. He's he uh, high as a kite. Right. I'm like, dude, start, don't do the Asian first. You're high. Start the Mexican first. Go in that back left corner, do the Mexican, and parlay that with the Italian. But before you do that, when you get into the Italian, start with the prosciutto and the cheese, because you're stoned. <laughs> start with that. After you do the prosciutto and cheese, slip around and do the, do the Italian and then the Mexican. Now you got your carbs out of the way. Pop up second floor. They got this prime rib on a little bun. You're going to bang four of those right there. And then last but not least, dude, after you've had your coma, the buzz is starting to wear down. Upstairs, I got the champagne sugar bar. There's a white chocolate pistachio. Have four of those. <laughs> Knock those out. And then the chocolate hazelnut chocolate mousse. Dude, the over-under for you being stone. I set it at 11. Strong play on the over. <laughs> <laughs> the food was unbelievable. Brandon Lang. Oh, man, we love you, brother. Thanks for making time for us, and uh, good luck with the hall pass tonight. Thank you. Thank you.